Dearest heart, difference between seeing the good in others and not being honest with yourself about who they really are. Unconditional love is not unconditional tolerance. Read that again. The first step to healing is acceptance. You have to accept the true colors that people show you. No matter what you thought they were or how they used to act. So it's a time to stop romanticizing and normalizing people who are hurting you. So repeated mistakes are not accidents that is their behavior. There is as you get older you really start to understand the difference between friends and associates. Family and blood, business and work, relationship and dating, love and lust, wants and needs and most of all. What is important and what is not to avoid disappointments take people exactly as they are so instead of idealizing about who you want them to be draw your line in the sand let go of the illusion that it could have been any different 2024 is definitely that year everybody finding out who is real and who is not who is coming to eat and who is coming to eat you dear souls know that there are times in our lives when we must put our emotions to one side and let logic rule our decision making process The universe through the king of sword is urging us to use our intellect when faced with solving problems this week. The ethical nature of the king keeps the boundaries of right and wrong very definite. And he shows us that sometimes we get the best results when we emotionally detach ourselves from the problem before attempting to solve it so this week if you feel that emotions are running high take some time out so your objectivity can be restored before you say do or commit to anything So the universe is reminding you that you are an intelligent autonomous individual and you can do whatever works best for you in order to accomplish your goals. So long as you remain objective and look at the bigger picture. So what you find yourself blinded by confusion caused by others put your blinkers on and focus on what is really important So this will allow you to achieve a result that is ethically sound fair and just There will be time this week where you will need to be the moral compass from which others seek direction. So the universe will make sure it points to true north. So dear souls know that The universe is wanting you to know that you all possess the power to access healing energy and this is something you can call upon whenever you need it. 
this energy flows all around you and can be channeled through you all you need to do is tap into it so if you feel down tired drain lacking in that virtual life force then make sure you are taking time to tap into the energy field around you to top your own energy up So there is an abundance of supply at your disposal. You may call on angels to help you use crystals, meditation, getting into nature, sound, mantras, reiki. There are many different ways and each of you find your own way that you can tap into this source energy to recharge, restore and heal. So if you have been feeling called to looking into energy healing either for yourself or helping others to heal. So this is your sign to say yes you should pursue this further this is a path that will be very beneficial for you and is part of your path. Abundance is all around and is there to be tapped into whilst money is often associated as abundance. So your abundance coming to you may be different from the next person. One person may get a sudden abundance of money. So such is an unexpected windfall or a rise in their income. Another may get abundance in the form of love with friends or family acting with love towards them. Or maybe plenty of suitors to choose from in, in respect of dating opportunities. So you might be lucky to see your abundance in the form of a number of events that bring a lot of happiness to you. So whatever this abundance means for you, know that you, his abundance coming your way, enjoy it and the universe wants to reward you. So dear souls, know that changing old thinking patterns takes time and patience. Move out of your comfort zone. Sometimes the odds might seem against you in your current situation. If you choose not to buy into the negative and focus on positive thinking. And most importantly, your belief in yourself, things can even miraculously turn right around. So you might be feeling competitive and guarded energy with different opinions of what is happening in our world. So you may feel like you are butting hats with it all or your point is not getting across, stop right now, let go of the fight. If you do, you will change your reality perspective. I manifest the love and abundance that you do deserve. Do you best to let go of the outcome and instead focus on the many blessings all around you? Gratitude is the best way to spiral your energy upward. Take back your power, go with the flow and suit and harsh reaction and triggers that come up.
so trust that this to shall and you are holding all the power within you so dear souls know that traditionally rain symbolizes rebirth and washing one's sins away water is also associated with emotions and a summer rain can represent the release of long held emotion that is allow for a purification and inner healing there is also a renewal aspect of rain the old saying april showers bring may flowers mean that what follows the rain is a time of renewal and blossoming so it is difficult for new vibrant energy to enter your life and if it is clogged with old and outdated energy so cleanse and purify your body and your physical space this is a great time for detox clutter clearing cleansing and space clearing release outdated energy to invite fresh into your life eat lightly don't take things personally release resentment guilt and blame purify yourself thought word and deed decluttering is modern day alchemy so if you don't love it or use it let it go This message can also represent abundance as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity and summer is the time of expansion. So dear souls know that you don't have to continue to play that limited version of yourself anymore regardless of how long you have been that person for you are free to reinvent yourself free to be your true self today you don't have to be that version of you that gives your power away so easily that hides away from the world that says yes to everyone that is apologetic for their own existence and that seeks external validation no more none of those things are a true reflection of who you really are or what you need they are not coming from a place of power or peace they are likely all reflection of your pain so be who you are rather than who other people expect or need you to be get back in touch with who you really are type yes if you have faith and trust in angels <laughs>